Welcome to this brief guide on how to use keyboard shortcuts when presenting in PowerPoint. Most of us are generally aware of the ways in which we can control our PowerPoint presentation using our touchpad or mouse, but there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that most people are not aware of. Today I'll show you how to utilize them. First thing I'm going to do is I've got my presentation ready to go and I'm gonna start my presentation. The first keyboard shortcut I can use is F5 or I can click the Start Slideshow button in the status bar. Now that I've started my presentation, we have the controls that are in the bottom left-hand corner, and most people are aware that we can use these for things such as laser pointer, etc. But if we use the keyboard shortcut F1, we can actually see a quick help guide for all of the available keyboard shortcuts for when we're presenting, including general shortcuts, options for helping us for rehearsing or recording, controlling media that might be playing in our slideshow, as well as ones for ink and laser pointers, as well as highlighters. And then last but not least, we also have options for touch controls for those who may have a touch screen based device. Today, we're gonna to go through a couple of these just so you can see how they are in action. First thing I can press is Control P and pressing Control P will turn my mouse cursor straight into the pen option. And then I can press Control I and quickly change it into a highlighter. And then if I wanted to, I could even press Control L and quickly flick over to the laser pointer and highlight something, all without having to interrupt my flow. And then lastly, if I wanna get rid of all of the ink on my slide, I can simply press the keyboard shortcut E and that removes all ink from my slides. I also have a few other options as well, such as the ability to black out the screen using B or the period key. And then, apologies for this one in advance, but pressing W or comma will give us a white screen. This is great for hiding content when you don't necessarily want people to see it or if you're wanting to kind of take the focus away from the slides for just a moment. We also have escape, which we can use to then get out of our slideshow and back to where we were at the beginning. And that is how you use keyboard shortcuts when presenting in PowerPoint. I hope you found this tip extremely useful. Be sure to go out and try all those keyboard shortcuts for yourself next time and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.